Hello YouTube and fellow comic book aficionados. I have with me today the long awaited and finally arrived Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus. This book was solicited and then canceled and then solicited again and canceled again and solicited again and we finally got a release date of December of this year most likely to coincide with the Aquaman film. Uh, cannot wait to see that. I'm actually going tomorrow morning. Um, I've waited years and years for an Aquaman film and we finally have one. But enough about that. This video is about the omnibus itself. So as you can see, front cover right here, beautiful Yvonne Reyes uh, cover, Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus. Not crazy about the spine. Uh, I don't know why they went with this green color. Like it should have been some kind of aqua blue, if you ask me. But uh, yeah, oh well. And then the back. So let me get the dust jacket off. And we will take a look at the book underneath. Okay, very beautiful image on the front of the hardcover itself. It is a bit of a wraparound except for the spine looking similar to the dust jacket, but here's the continuation of the wraparound with Black Manta on the back. credits there. Majority of this book is illustrated by Yvonne Reyes and Paul Pelletier uh, with a few other artists here and there. Table of contents. And we jump right into the first story arc, The Trench. This run by Jeff Johns is what basically what turned me on to Aquaman. Uh, I had, you know, grew up watching him on Justice League and uh, other animated DC titles, but uh, never really had been reading any of his comics until this run in the New 52. And boy, I realized how much I had been missing out. Aquaman has this stigma around him as a lame character Oh, he can talk to fish. Oh, cool. That's all he can do. No, that's not all he can do. He is insanely strong. He is insanely fast. He has the ability to communicate with aquatic life. That is true. But that is not at all the extent of his abilities. And he's a king. He is a badass character, and this run by Jeff Johns clearly exemplifies that. So much so that I wanted to read more Aquaman, so I actually have gone back and read a, a good chunk of the Peter David run from the 90s, where he had the beard and long hair, and he had a, was missing a hand, and that, that's just a brutal run, it's brutal in a good way. I, I want to get more into that and currently reading some of the Aquaman from Rebirth. Solid all the way around as well. There you go, splash page. Uh, he is definitely over the year, the last five or six years, risen in the ranks to be one of my top three uh, DC favorite DC characters right behind Batman and the Flash. Um, he is just a solid all around. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> the Throne of Atlantis story arc, which is, from what I can tell, is what the good chunk of the Aquaman film is is based on. It looks like they pulled from the trench 
as well. You see the trench monsters in the trailer, and but a, a majority of the movie looks like it's going to be the Throne of Atlantis storyline with Ocean Master wanting to invade the surface world, and Aquaman and Mera have to stop him. So yeah, this uh, like I said, this run is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, again, really cemented the character as a standout for me, at least for me, in the uh, DC universe. Johns hits it out of the park as he does with a majority of the titles that he works on. So, skip to the back here, see what kind of special features they have. There you go. Okay. Let me get some alternate covers. Ooh, by Jim Lee, nonetheless. Sorry about the glare, guys. And some sketches, and... Oh, that's cool. There's your trench monsters. Cover designs. And there you go. The Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus. Waited a long time for this to be released. So happy that we finally have it and I get to reread it in this oversized format. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the character of Aquaman, I highly suggest you pick this up. It was definitely my first real experience with the character, and it is solid all the way through, um, especially if you're new to the character. Uh, so pick it up if you can. Um, go see the movie. I'm like I said, I'm going to see it tomorrow. Cannot wait. Uh, have heard most mostly good things about it. So yeah been a long time coming for me so uh, but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up comment subscribe do that whole thing and I will see you on the next one thanks for watching